Hey everybody, it's David Pingree. We're out here at Glen Helen today. Yamaha invited us out for the launch of their 2017 YZ450F. A uh, handful of changes for this year, nothing groundbreaking, just kind of dialing in some of the, the little bugs and things that they had last year. Uh, so let's go over some of those and we'll get this thing out on the track and check it out. So a few of the changes they made for 2017 here at Yamaha. Uh, start with the tires. These came with MX-52s last year and they've gone to what you know as the MX-32. They've named it the MX-3S due to some legal disputes, but uh, new tires on this bike. Also, uh, to make the rear brake a little more reliable, it's uh, made of a new material, the disc. There's a new counter shaft oil seal and oil strainer in it uh, just to filter out particulate a little bit better. And also, a big problem they've had in the past, a big complaint, was the Zeus fasteners on the air filter cover uh, getting grabbed by boots and pants and opened up. Uh, so they've recessed those fasteners to protect those a little bit and keep those from getting caught up. So. Uh, that's a nice change. They're listening to folks who are who are giving them those issues. And uh, uh, as usual, this bike comes in a, in the uh, two different colorways, the blue and white, and then also the red and white that you've seen in the past. Um, so we'll go out and have some fun on this bike. We've invited Casey Johnson out today to spend some laps and give us his thoughts. It's been a while since he's been on a Yamaha, so it'll be great to get a fresh perspective. All right, we got Casey Johnson in here off the track, and he's put some time on this thing. Hasn't ridden a Yamaha 450 since 2006, so a little bit different in the past 10 years? Quite a bit different, yeah. Um, these things are a lot faster now, a little bit easier to ride, um, just the mechanics. I feel like you have to ride over the front a lot more than you had to back in the day just because the bike's so much more faster. Yeah, the, the power like going up Mount St. Helens, you and I were talking about, you, you just literally got to lay on the handlebars to keep the front wheel down. And uh, I was on the 250F today, so I can only imagine this thing is pulling like crazy up that hill. I was kissing the front fender the whole way. Yeah, it's hard to keep the front end down, and you're constantly always playing with the clutch all the way up to try to keep it from going out underneath you, and then just keeping a good drive up the hill. But the thing is so fast, if you don't get over the front, you'll just loop out. Now, the Yamaha's always kind of been notorious for having a strong engine. Uh, some of the, the kicks that it took were for the handling traits in the past and they've done a lot to change that. How do you feel this thing handled up? Um, well, they've done a lot of changes uh, and I've tried a couple mapping uh, changes today and um, there's a sandy uh, mapping, uh, sandy track mapping that works really good uh, when the track's a little bit loamy and deep and um, it just, it makes the, the, the power respond a little better. It's not as aggressive and it, it goes a little further in the rev and you don't have to shift as quick. And so it's a little smoother and it's gonna be a little bit better for the vet guys. And, if the, uh, the pro riders want more an aggressive motor acceleration out of a corner, they're going to want to go back to the stock mapping. Yeah, and that pa that's all changeable by the Yamaha Power Tuner. Uh, you take that device, Yamaha's got those maps on their website, shows you all of the percentages and the numbers you need to plug in and, and how that should look. And uh, as you mentioned, the Sandy Track map is the one you like. Travis Preston said that was the same one he prefers to, so um, it seems like it just spread the power out, made it a little easier to ride. And that changes handling too, makes it even handle better, right? Um, I didn't notice a big change in handling because the track is so smooth. I, I would imagine, you know, second moto, you know, we're getting into Glen Hill and second moto stuff. You're going to want to make some changes. Uh, but right now the track's pretty smooth, so I don't feel like the suspension is a uh, crazy issue as far as having to re-do uh, some settings. Um, I got on the bike, they set the sag, and it felt great for me right off the get-go. Um, so the bike... If you set up for your weight, it should work pretty plush right from the go, get go. And you can play with the settings and the compression and the rebound if the track gets rougher. Yeah, and Yamaha, again, sticking with the spring fork, which I love. Um, still, hands down, my favorite fork of any bike. Uh, so, suspension's working good for you. What about the more reliable rear disc brake material? Were you able to really feel how that, how that was working? A lot of uh, air resistant. I felt like I went faster on the downhills. Oh, good. And, uh, no, I, I just... I didn't feel a huge change in, in the, the rear, whatever they did. Um, what I did feel is the, the bike through here where you're holding on and gripping with the bike, 
There's nothing that's going to snag your foot off. There's nothing that's that's going to um, make you feel like there's bulkiness where you can't squeeze the bike. So, and they've, they've made these little inserts here, um, fit flush in the in the shroud, so you don't have any hang up with your knees at all. So, I mean, the bike just felt great right from the first lap. I just felt comfortable right from the get go. All right, well, check the new Yamaha out at your local dealer. They'll be hitting floors soon. Thank you to Casey Johnson. You can check him out at 100% MX training. Is that what it is? 110% MX training. Oh, so you're more than 100%. I'm a little bit more. I'm 10% more. 110% MX training uh, for all of your motocross training needs. Thanks for coming out. Thank you to Yamaha for having us. Thanks to Glen Helen Raceway. Thanks for watching.